Well, all of the rain over the last few days certainly didn't put a damper on the holiday long weekend down in Niagara Falls. Louis Butko braved the crowds this afternoon and has this report. While the day may have started a bit on the soggy side, the rain had cleared by mid-afternoon Monday as tourists were coming from near and far to check out one of Canada's most popular tourism destinations. Did the rain uh, affect your plans at all this weekend? Did it put a damper on anything? No, it did not because we have our rain parkas and we figured there'd be less tourists, but it's like pretty touristy still. Most of the stuff we were doing was indoors, so it didn't really affect anything. Okay. What brought you guys down to Niagara Falls? Oh, the waterfall. Beauty, air, fresh air. This is this is the most amazing place I've ever been. As simple as it might sound, the falls, really. Yeah. Somebody was like, why'd you come here for the falls? And I was like, just see the falls, I guess, you know? Meanwhile, local businesses like Yank's Old Niagara Bar and Grill, located near Clifton Hill, were ecstatic to see the crowds this weekend. They said while well, they were dealing with less than ideal weather conditions, that didn't stop people from making the trip. I haven't seen it this busy since the 80s. Um, it was packed everywhere. Got Americans coming over from all over every state, basically, talking to everybody. Um, they had to direct traffic. They actually closed Clifton Hill off to traffic this year because it was so busy. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great weekend. Glad business is picking up uh, after the three years losing uh, to that we can go back to full capacity uh, and have business down here is really great. Now, while many tourists were enjoying the sights and sounds down here in Niagara Falls, a lot of tourists were heading home or at least heading to the States with all three bridges in Niagara reporting at least a half hour delay at some point this afternoon. The Canada Border Services Agency reminds passengers who may be crossing the border to be prepared and have tips for smoother trips, including planning ahead and crossing during non-peak hours, having your travel documents handy, declaring any foods, plants and animals, and knowing what you can and can't bring into the country. In Niagara Falls, Louis Butko, CHCH News.